guys welcome back to old illuminate 11 on this monday i hope you had a lovely weekend and welcome if it is your first time checking out my channel and if it is your first time checking out the channel then please do hit the subscribe button you are very welcome here and also a really warm welcome to everyone who joined the channel in the last couple of days or so really glad to have you guys all from the channel you are very welcome here and also just a couple of things before i get into the cards and um i in the playlist section on the channel you can find loads of different videos and i've put them into different playlists you know for example you can find messages in music there's quite a few in there and then uh you know messages for the divine feminine messages of encouragement and support on this journey messages angel messages there's, so there's quite a number of different playlists and i just recently added uh one for the divine masculines and did and I did my first video for the Divine Masculines last week. So I will be doing more of this. So there will be a section. There is a section now as well for the Divine Masculine. So any uh, videos that you may want to go and check out, they are in the playlist. And, you know, anytime that you watch them, you know, they are timeless videos. So do go and check them out. And, you know, I know when I do the videos, I talk about them as if they're for that particular day, but time is an illusion anyway, an illusion and a construct of this 3D world that we live in. So whenever you watch the video is the right time for you. There will be a message for you in there. And then the next thing is I actually, I write a blog as well, which is also called World Illuminate 11. And, um, and I recently switched to start writing in relation to the twin flame journey and i wrote my first uh, blog post at the beginning of this month and it is called the making of the divine feminine so i will be putting a link in the description box below and you can check out that video it really is about you know what the divine feminine goes through on this journey and and then how she starts she then starts it's, it's really a message of encouragement because it shows how the divine feminine then becomes you know starts to build herself up from everything that she goes through and starts to be as she moves forward towards becoming the greatest version of herself and the power and the strength within the divine feminine to keep going so it is about giving you that you know that encouragement to keep going on this uh, on this journey because you have that strength and the power within you and then the other thing is I'm also offering personal reading. So if you're looking to have a personal reading done, my email address will be in the description box below as well. Do drop me an email. And if you do um, have a look at um, the blog post, do leave a comment here on uh, the channel in the uh, comment section to let me know what you think about the post. So um, this past weekend, we have uh, we've had the spring equinox which has been really about we are now in spring here in the northern hemisphere autumn in the southern hemisphere and it's really a time of you know it's a time of rebirth it's a time of moving into new beginnings and really a time of rejuvenation of renewal of rebirth you know of regeneration so all these are it's it's, a, it's this time of this newness that's come in and you know and today is the sun's shining here in the uk so it is um and you know really quite nice weather so it is really this newness that's coming in the angels are saying and this is about all the new beginnings that are coming into our lives as well the new beginnings that are leading to unions and reunions and you know things moving forward in relation to your journey as well and the angels are saying this is a time for you as a divine feminine to really focus on leaving the past behind because it is like you are being reborn as well as you move into this time into these new beginnings, you know, into this time of spring that we are moving into. So it is about you leaving the past behind, the past that involves the fears, the doubts, the worries, the, you know, the things that drag you down on this journey. It is about leaving those in the past and moving forward into this place of trust, into this place of having faith and, you know, and moving as part of your being reborn as well towards that faith and that trust and believing in your journey, believing that you will be in union with your divine masculine because you are meant to be with your divine masculine. So, you know, this is a time of really letting go of those fears and those worries and trusting that, 
you know, you are one with your divine masculine because your divine masculine is within you. You are within them. It is about you knowing that you are one with your divine masculine. You are one with the creator. You are one with everything and you are one with everyone. It is about letting go of that idea of separation because the idea of separation is what brings in fear. It is what fear is all about. It is what brings in the doubts, the worries, the, you know, the, um, and the, the, the sort of uh, fear that you may not be in union with your divine masculine. So it is about you letting go of that idea of being of separation and know that you are one, you are connected and you have always been connected with your divine masculine. There is no separation. And the more you get into that place, that's when you get into this place of just trusting and having faith in your journey, because you know that, you know, the creator is all about, about love and you are one with the creator so the creator is there to give you this unconditional love and by giving you this unconditional love you're being given this union that you know that is meant for you because you know you you and your divine masculine being in union on the 3D as well is about you moving into your mission and it is about you having the things that are meant for you and that union is meant for you. So it is about you trusting in that oneness, you trusting in that connection with the creator and knowing that the creator is there to give you the things that you truly desire, to give you the things that are meant for you, to give you that union that is meant for you. But you have to be in that place of having that faith, of having that trust of letting go of those worries, of letting go of that idea that you're separated from the creator, which is what brings in the fear. So be in the place of love, be in the place of that unconditional love that is what the creator is about. Be in the place of knowing that you are connected with the creator. And when you know that you have that connection with the creator, then you know that you trust in the creator because you trust that the things that you truly desire are coming into your life and you let go and you have faith there is you know you get into this place of surrendering to unconditional love of surrendering to this journey of surrendering to knowing that the things that you truly desire are being provided for you because the creator who is only unconditional love is your provider as well is the source for everything that you truly desire so when you are in that place of having that faith and that trust then you are in a place of peace as well so it is about letting go of those fears right now and moving into this as we move into these new beginnings, you know, these new beginnings of the spring, you know, the time that we're moving into, it is about you moving into that time with that play, with that, by being in that place of trusting and also having that faith in your journey and knowing that the things that you truly desire are coming into your life because they are coming into your life. And it is about you knowing that you have everything that you need, everything that you need, you already have because your divine master masculine is also within you and you know everything is provided for you so you have everything that you need and the things that you desire, including that union, including, you know, being with your divine masculine, those things are going to be provided for you in the right divine timing. So the message that's coming through from the angels is that as we move into this time of rejuvenation, this time of regeneration, this time of renewal and rebirth, be in that place of being reborn in yourself as well and being reborn into this place of trust, this place of faith and this place place of just knowing and, uh, you know, that and surrendering to the journey, knowing that the things that you truly desire are coming into your life. So that's the message that's coming through. And, you know, the more you are in that place, then the more you are bringing in the things that you truly desire, because when you trust, you are giving out that vibration of trust and, you know, and you bring in that when you are in fear or you are in a place of doubt, you are giving out the vibration 
of doubt and of fear and all you get back is doubt about you know that the journey will actually happen but when you trust that it's happening then all the, that your union will, will happen then you get back you know doubts and fears as well but when you are in this place of trusting that union is coming and you know the things that you truly desire coming into your life then you will get those things coming in so it is really about surrendering and moving into this place into this time of newness knowing and you know being in this place of surrendering to the angels to the creator knowing that the things that you truly desire are coming into your life because everything is being sorted we are moving into these new beginnings you know this newness and it is the time that's bringing in all the things that you truly desire but you have to believe you have to trust you have to be in the place of having that faith and be because that is what will bring in what you truly desire and also be in the place of being high vibrational you know raising your vibration enjoying your life and you know and knowing that the more the higher your vibration the more joy you have in your life the more you are going to attract the things that you truly desire when you are in a place of low vibration you know of, of fear and worry then you only attract that as well so raise your vibration and be in that place of just having that faith and trust so what i'm going to do today i'm just going to pull a few cards um, you, you know as we are talking about this regeneration this time of rebirth and and to see what messages the angels have for both the divine masculines and the divine feminines. So thank you, angels. Wow, straight out there for the divine masculines. Um, and then thank you, angels. What messages is coming through for the divine feminines as well as we move into this time of renewal and rebirth? What is coming through for the divine feminines? Okay, let's have a look and see. So wow, for the divine masculines, the card that came out is action. So this is really beautiful. This is showing that as we are moving more into spring, as we are moving more into summer, you know, as we moving more into this 2021, action is coming in for the divine masculines. And you can see there's that water as well there. And this is showing that this is about emotion. So this is showing that there is this movement from, you know, sort of just being in the head and moving more to the heart. The heart is all about feeling and emotion. So this is showing that, there is going to be action happening for the divine masculines in relation to the way they feel, you know, and that is about moving forward towards their divine feminine, moving forward towards communicating the way they feel, their emotions, towards community, towards union, towards reunion. And you can see as well, there's all that sort of light in the sky there and so sort of showing the power of, of heaven. So this is how, you know, the guidance that they're having so that they can let go or take that action to let go of the things that they need to let go of and take action towards their divine feminine, towards the things that are men th that they truly desire in their life, things that are to do with that, the, with the way they feel with their heart. So really, really powerful that action has come out for the divine masculines. Wow. And the cards that came out for the divine feminines is fulfillment. And you can see there's that peach there, which is all about like, you know, um, uh, fulfillment and you know and sort of ripeness and that something is coming in that you are going to be fulfilled as a divine feminine that there are great things coming in into your life you know it's it's, it's really beautiful it's, it's it's showing that there there is beauty and great things coming into your life what i'm actually going to do i'm going to read what fulfillment actually says in the book because i really feel there's a message in there and it says fulfillment is at hand no matter what is occurring in your life put your attention on what is splendid pleasurable and luscious like that peach and then bliss find bliss in the moment love fully deeply without hesitation cherish your friendships Fill your life with people, experiences, and places that give you delight. So this is about letting go of the fears, negative people, negative situations, and fill your life with people, experiences, and places that give you delight. 
let let go of people and things that don't feel empowering and that drag your energy down. So I hadn't seen that, but that's what was coming. You no longer need to put the needs of others ahead of your needs. So this is about self-love. You focusing on yourself, on self-love, and that is what will bring in the things that you truly desire. And then it goes on to say, savor your life with gusto and grace. Experience and embrace life in all its perpetuations. If you want to conceive a baby or a new project or start a new relationship, this, this card is an excellent omen for a great outcome. So, wow, absolutely beautiful. So this is showing you, Divine Feminine, that this card is showing you that great things are coming. If you want a baby with your Divine Masculine, then this is a great omen for that. If you want a relationship, which is a union with your Divine Masculine, then this card is showing that there is going to be the fulfillment. You are going to have those things come into your life. So all the, or any other projects, anything that you may be working on, you may want to work on your mission, those things are coming in. So the angels are saying, as we move into this time of newness with all, you know, with, with rebirth and great things coming in, you know, they, they is all the things that you truly desire are coming into your life and you will have fulfillment. This really explains why I just got the message that I need to read um, what it says in the book about fulfillment. So this is showing that that union, that relationship that you want with your divine masculine is coming in in this time of newness that we're moving into. So really, really powerful. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to bring in the Archangel Animal cards to uh, see what messages are coming through for the divine masculines so messages of um from the angels so thank you angels what message is coming through for the divine masculines and then thank you angels what message is coming through for the divine feminines as well okay and then i'm also going to bring in my deck which is the divine feminine illumination deck to see what message is coming through for the divine masculines on this day so thank you angels what message is coming through for the divine masculines Thank you, angels. What message is wow? Okay, and then thank you, angels. Wow, I've seen what the card is for the divine masculines because it jumped out for the divine feminine. So, the cards that came out for the divine masculines is leap, and it says. Um, by always trusting in the angels, the universe, in, by always trusting in the universe and the angels, by always trusting the universe and the angels to catch me when I take any leap from my comfort zone, I open myself up to meaningful and worthwhile new beginnings and adventures. So I will read that again. By always trusting in the universe and the angels to catch me when I take any leap from my comfort zone, I open myself up to meaningful and worthwhile new beginnings and adventures. I am taking the leap into the unknown. So really, really powerful, really jumped out for the divine masculines. This is about them taking that leap of faith towards their union, towards the things that they truly desire, towards that love with their divine feminine, letting go of their comfort zone, the things that they are, they've known and, you know, the fears and also the Coming situations, a situation that they've always been in, letting go of that so that they can move forward towards that love, you know, the meaningful and worthwhile new beginnings and adventures. And that will be meaningful with their divine feminine, you know, a meaningful and worthwhile new beginnings with their divine feminine and also adventures. So this is really, really powerful that this card came out for the divine masculines. And then for the divine feminines, wow, the card that came out is strength. So really powerful. And it says, as the powerful divine feminine that I am, I have strength within to face all challenges that life throws at me with grace, compassion, understanding, patience, and dignity. And the affirmation is, I am a pillar of strength. So this is about you, Divine Feminine, whatever may be going on on your journey. It is about you be knowing that you have amazing inner strength within you. You have the power and the strength to keep going on this journey. 
And whatever challenges that face you on this journey, you know, you face them, you, that, that life throws at you, you know, on this journey, this is a challenging journey, but you face them, you know, with grace, with compassion, with understanding, with patience and with dignity. So, you know, you are a pillar of strength, divine feminine. So it is about you continuing on this journey and trusting that you are being led in the right direction and you have the strength to keep going basically is the message that's coming through from the from the angels that you have that strength and the power within you to keep going on this journey really powerful and the cards that came out from the animal spirit guides uh for the uh, for the divine masculines the first one is the tiger and it says, accept your magnificence. Wow. So this is the angel saying to the divine masculines, you are a magnificent being. You know, you have that power and that love and you are a being of love, you know, and you have that love for your divine feminine. So accept your magnificence, move yourself away from a place that holds you back, you know, and move forward towards the things that, you know, that you truly desire. And what did it say on the card? You know, those worthwhile and meaningful new beginnings so that where you can really show your magnificence so it's about them accepting their magnificence and then the next card was the badger for the divine masculines and it says bring balance into you bring your life into balance so this is about them bringing their life into balance their emotions and you know and everything so you know everything on their 3d life so that they can be more balanced and they can move forward towards taking that leap of faith towards their new beginning so it's about them bringing that balance into their lives so really powerful and then the cards that came out for the divine feminines is the owl um, and it says, listen to the messages of the angels. So divine feminine, listen to the messages of the angels. You know, they are letting you know that everything is working out exactly as it is meant to work out. You are a strong divine feminine. You can keep going on this journey because the things that you truly desire are all being sorted out and they're coming into your life. So listen to the messages of the angels and move forward into that place of trust and faith. Let go of that fear because we are moving into these new beginnings we are already in these new beginnings in this time of rebirth that is bringing in all the things that you truly desire so that is the message so trust and listen to the messages of the angels and the last cards that came out for the divine feminine is the sheep and it says act with fortitude and cooperation so divine feminine, this is about you cooperating with the angels, cooperating with the universe, you know, cooperating with your divine masculine, cooperating with yourself as well, but giving yourself self-love and knowing that the more you are in this place of cooperating with the universe, the more you are going to bring in the things that you truly desire. So really, really powerful. And to end this, I'm going to use my deck, which is um, also my, another one of my decks, which is the divine feminine transformation affirmations just to see what messages are coming through for the divine masculines and the divine feminines from their higher self so thank you angels what messages are coming through for the divine masculines okay and then thank you angels what's coming through for the divine feminines as well as we move into the more of the springtime so let's have a look and see so the first card that came out for the divine masculines is i love my body so this is about the divine masculines learning to love themselves as well. You know, they are going to be moving more into this place of loving the person that they are and loving their body. So really, really powerful. And the next card is I am compassionate. So this is about your divine masculine getting into that place of being more compassionate, opening up their heart more and moving more towards being the person of being compassionate. Wow. And then the next card is I am walking away from negative people and situations. So this is really powerful. This is about your divine masculine. This is messages from their higher self. So about moving away from the things that drag them down, the negative 
people and situations, you know, and moving forward towards the taking that leap of faith towards those worthwhile and meaningful new beginnings, the po towards positivity, towards love, and letting go of comic situations and any other people that are drag them down or situations, you know, it might be uh, if if it's a, like a job or an addiction, things that really bring them down, and they're letting. This is about them now moving forward towards walking away from these things so that they can move forward towards that love and towards their divine feminine. And the last card that came out is I am worthy. So this is about your divine masculine realizing and knowing that they are worthy of this love. They are worthy of having this life with their divine feminine. So they are, as we move more into the spring and, you know, into summer, they are starting to realize that they are worthy of this love. They are worthy of having those beautiful and meaningful uh, new beginnings with their divine feminine, you know, a life that they truly desire. So this is about them understanding that they're worthy. And the cards that came out for the divine feminine, I am love. So divine feminine, this is about you understanding and knowing that you are love and working towards becoming the greatest version of yourself because you are love and you are a being of unconditional love. So this is about you realizing that you are love and it's coming from your higher self and I treat myself so divine feminine, this is about you looking after yourself, treating yourself in everything that you do, you know, look and self love and just being in this place of realizing that, you know, you're worthy of having the life of your dreams. So treat yourself, you know, during this time of separation on the 3D, separation on the 3D from your divine masculine, you know, it's about you treating yourself in the most beautiful ways, doing things for yourself and loving yourself. So really, really powerful. And then the next cards that came out for the Divine Feminines is I am going within to listen to my own inner guidance. So Divine Feminine, focus on your inner guidance. The, your inner guidance knows, your intuition knows, and it will guide you in the right direction. And that's how the angels as well speak to you on this journey to help you towards to keep you going strong on this journey. You know, they, there was a card to listen to the messages of the angels. So trust in, go within, you know, it's about you quietening your mind and going within and listening to your inner guidance. And then the next card that came out and for the divine feminines is, I understand that there is always a bigger picture. So divine feminine understands that there's always a bigger picture. So whatever may be going on, you know, if there's still no communication, if you've still not heard from your divine masculine, you know, what, however long this is taking, there is always a bigger picture the angels and the universe see this bigger picture and everything will happen in the right divine timing in the right way that will actually blow your mind. So it is about you understanding that there is always a bigger picture. And the last cards that came out for my, for the divine feminines is I'm following my heart at all times. So divine feminine is all about the hearts. You know, you are love, follow your heart, let go of what is going on on the outside. Let go of what your divine masculine is doing on the 3D let go of anything that is outside of you and focus on you focus on going within focus on you being loved focus on that unconditional love and focus on your connection with the creator your bond with your divine masculine focus on your heart because your heart is what is leading you towards all the things that you truly desire. So really, really powerful messages that are coming through as we move more into the springtime and, you know, great things are coming. We have moved into this time of rebirth, this time of newness, this time of new beginnings, and the angels are saying great things are coming. So stay in the place of faith, trust and believing. I really hope you have a great day, guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Love, peace, positivity, and light.